Hello everybody, hello, hello, hello. Got my microphone on, I think. Yeah, I do. All right. Danny Shea here. On a Wednesday, late Wednesday. Late, 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 late. Um, I wanted to read on Tim Walls and Kamala Harris, and I think I'm going to skip it for today. I think I'm going to let it marinate and rest a little bit. Um, there's certain things that is that are going on that I'm not so thrilled about as someone who tries to stay in the higher vibrational aspect of this. The key word of there is tries to. And you know, as soon as you say, I'm trying, you're not doing a very good job of succeeding. So, I thought I would use my female archangel deck to um, come up with what what is it that and, and the thing that that was kind of bothering me was um, Tim Walls it, well it bothered me and it didn't I was like cheering and then I went oh and that's kind of creepy um, when when Michelle Obama said when they go low we go high and that led to a lot of um, us not e even saying some things. So when when Biden was in the in the mix of things, there was like this void of like you know they would go low, but there wasn't a response back. Now there's a response back, and it feels glorious. It's like yay, finally. If you got something to say to me, say it to my face. That type of stuff. Yay. Tim Walls took it to another level. Um, he was the one that started with weird. And I find that weird. I find him labeling everybody over there weird. Weird. Because when I grew up, I was weird. So am I one of those guys? So I want him to be a little more specific in his weird comments. The other comment I thought was a little too low was um, J.D. Vance, get off the couch and debate me. I mentioned the couch, and I got a lot of flack for it. All I said was Google it. I didn't know if it was true or not, and apparently it's not true, but again, I don't know. I didn't Google it, but I think it took it to a low, 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 low point. But it's set. It's kind of, I feel good and bad about it at the same way. It's like, yes, finally, somebody pushing back, slapping these guys, and the Republicans really don't know what the hell's going on. I mean... They got in. They got into a ring with Muhammad Ali, and he's stinging like a butterfly. No, he's dancing like a butterfly and stinging like a bee. Dancing like a butterfly, stinging like a bee. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. All right, let's get into how do we now that it's set, okay? And we got a little honeymoon season going on. Um, Friday, I'll read on uh, the convention that's coming up, see if we can get a, a vibe on that. Um, but everybody's all like, yeah, 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 you know it's going to get ugly. Uh, Trump is not going to let this not get ugly. They, I think, are in a danger, they meaning um, the Democratic ticket, are in a danger of dropping too low. So, um, how do we, I mean, do we need to watch TV anymore? Most of us don't, so just keep it off. But there's people like in, in Missouri who are still um, pr doing their primaries. I think they just had theirs today. Cori Bush lost. Wah, I liked Cori Bush. So you can bet that she will have another voice in this administration. Well, 
We could read on it later, on Friday, when I ramble. I'm still getting people saying, you ramble too much. It's better than silence. Or is it? Hmm. Well, thank God for the fast forward button. And if you don't know where it is, never mind. All right, so how do we... I, I went low a little bit there. You see that? I went, went low. Um, how do we, now that it's set, now that the table's set, we know who we're going to vote for, um, we have a choice between... We don't have a choice. We got to vote for Kamala. Even my hillbilly brother says, yes, Kamala and Tim Walls. Whoa. All right, then. All right. Uh, RFK Jr. I don't know. That bear thing. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, I do think that we should get rid of Democrats and Republicans and not have any political parties and let this nonsense go. But that's for another time stream. This one we're in right now, we are trying to figure out how to stay in this higher vibration. We're going into Lionsgate Portal tomorrow. That's going to be the peak of it. So do we drop down into this negative energy or do we rise above it? So with the high stakes that we're in, how do we stay in the higher vibration? How do we do that? I'm using my female Archangel deck. Let's see what we get. I'm just going to pull three. Just see what they have to say to us. Okay, maybe I should just pull one. Archea, victory. Victory. We don't need to know anymore. We don't need to go down into the, into the sewer. We have victory. So raise your vibration. Victory. Wow. I could stop right there. I could. I probably should. Did I just shoot on myself? I'm not going to. Oh, I should read that before I flip it up. What's it say? Archeia Faith. I'm mispronouncing that, I know. Um, faith. Lead with confidence. Faith. Faith in victory. Lead with confidence. Not lead with negativity. Lead with confidence. L not lead with doubt. You don't? Yeah, okay. i got to keep going on and on. And then we get, I forgot the name, Archangel Cassiel. Face your fears and rise. Is it, is it, let me drop this down so you can see. So, victory, faith, and face your fears and rise. Why are we, why do we have these fears if we're leading with confidence, if we know we have victory. So what are these, what, wh why this card? Why this card? I ask you, why this card? Okay. Ooh, tower. Tower. The lovers. Hmm. Oof. There we go. Blind decision. If we don't have the decision, who has the blind decision? Two of Pentacles. Nine of Cups, Knight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, I already talked to my hillbilly brother, 
but this goes back to um, your family members, the people you love, who are in this position that they're making a blind decision. They're not being fully aware of what's at stake. They'll be saying, I hate liberals. Do you like authoritatic, uh, authority, authoritatic regimes? Do you want to be ruled by one person or do you like democracy? They don't get it. They don't get the Project 2025 is still on the table. My Republican brother, he was out there saying Trump said he's not for it. So he's not for it. You were wrong. No. What did J.D. Vance, what was his role in Project 2025? Oh, yeah. He wrote the introduction to it. What about Stephen Miller? What about Steve Bannon? What about these other guys that are in Trump's immediate circle? They are all part of Project 2025 to get rid of the government as we know it and to put in the president as the sole person making the decisions. So they still don't get that yet. I had a little, I had a little talk with him. I had a little talk with him. And it was a little rocky, it was a little rolly, but I said, look, this is what we're up against. So here he was just going, no, you were wrong with this. He was making a blind decision. I kind of said, no, let's look at both sides of it. And yeah, it did get a little rocky in there. We had the nine of wands though, giving that information out. The wish card, the emotional fulfillment was he didn't push back too hard. Yay. And then at the final card, we got the, the Queen of Pentacles. This is abundance. This is um, a woman who has uh, achieved a lot in her lifetime. She's, she's not juggling things anymore. She's pretty confident. <laughs> pretty confident in her, um, in who she is, what she's achieved, how she manages her, well, she's the queen, her kingdom, right? Now, the king may think that he knows what's going on. I was listening to Keb Mo, Let a Woman Do It. I think that's the name of it. If you have a job to do, give it to the woman. <laughs> it's funny. Funny, good song, good song, good song. All right, um, Queen of Pentacles. So rise your fears up. It feels like this is time to talk to the people who are not paying attention in a calm, in a calm, um, a ten of cups way. We're just where the confidence comes in. We just just have this. We have this confidence to say what is true, what isn't. Okay, let's take a look at this card. And I'm going to use my Dark Mirror deck on it because why aren't we leading with confidence? Why aren't we leading with confidence? We have that the Queen of Pentacles, we have victory. Um, we have this fear of going out and, and talking to people, the loved ones, because I don't know, maybe they'll use maybe they'll use one of those swords. Cut our heads off. I'm not using that deck. Okay. Let me drop it down, show you where we are with this. Lead with confidence. Forgetting oneself. Hmm. 
forgetting our voice, forgetting how powerful our voice is. Blinded to pain. All right, so got a lot of bees on it. It's like, this doesn't hurt me none. Get your head chopped off by your Republican friends. Doesn't hurt me none. Well, yeah, it does. But anyway, you know, you just, you, you don't look at the pain anymore. You just keep moving. Just keep moving. And the last card, why are we not leading with confidence? Or how do we lead with confidence? It's the sacrifice. It's getting out, our, out of our comfort zone. Okay. Now, when I say getting out of your comfort zone, <laughs> there's always, there's always um, an awareness of how much is too much. Go back to the Tim Wall's comments. How much is too much? How low can we go without it being too low? That's an individual decision. You can make it blindly or you can just juggle it and know that you're on rough seas. This is an exciting time, exciting time. We don't need to be down into the weeds. We need to be above it. There it is. Thank you guys for watching. Peace and love.